Nigeria's power problem and its consequences are common knowledge. Experts continue to attribute the state of affairs in part to neglect. He has a stored capacity of uh, over 700 megawatts and he's generating 20 megawatts. He says his plant, his turbines haven't been repaired in uh, some of them haven't been overhauled in, in over 40 years. As one of the initiatives to turn things around, efforts are on to carry out what the Minister of Power calls National Load Study. This was at a meeting with the U.S. Special Envoy on Energy in Abuja. You also need to be able to capture industries that are being constructed, those that are operating, and, and so on. So a, a, a study of that nature is more rigorous than population uh, st a study. So we, it has to be thorough, and that's how Nigeria can know really how much power that we need in the country year to year. Other areas receiving attention, he said, are the provision, tariff and transportation of gas to fuel power plants, as well as a 750 kVA supergrid project. Further discussions are expected to continue at the meeting, which is said to be a critical step in providing Nigeria's power needs. We want to be able to work with our colleagues, our counterparts here, and supporting their policy efforts to create the environment that will allow for private investment within the country and will allow the financing of American goods and services that can support your efforts. There are many U.S. companies with great skills that have an interest in working and expanding their efforts here in Nigeria. Also at the meeting was Nigeria's ambassador to the United States, Professor Ade Adefui. Ibrahim Adra, NTA News 24, Abuja.